Hi there. Welcome to My Solar Home, your go-to channel for solar education and things sun-powered. I'm John and I help folks go solar across the US, which means I talk to a lot of people. And lately I've noticed something very interesting. Batteries are all the rage. It's like the latest trend in solar. Everybody wants a battery. Okay, maybe not everyone, but just about every solar curious homeowner I speak to is talking about batteries. Now, I love a good battery as much as the next guy. But before you whip out your wallet, let's pause for a second. A battery system is going to set you back at least 12,000 bucks. And that's on the lower side. That's no small chunk of change. You're talking about a luxury vacation money or finally fix the kitchen kind of money. And unless you're clear on why you need it, that 12,000 bucks could just end up being the most expensive paperwork you've ever owned. So here's the golden rule. Buying a battery makes sense only if you fall into one or more of these categories. You live in an area without net metering. Or your utility company charges you based on time of use. You have time of use billing. You want backup power for those, you know, oops, the grid went down kind of moments. Or you dream of telling the grid goodbye forever and going fully off grid. Stick around as we unpack each of these reasons and figure out whether a battery is the hero your solar system needs or just an expensive sidekick. Let's get started. Should you buy a battery? Spoiler alert, it's not always a yes. Here's the thing. Most states in the US offer net metering. Now, what is net metering? You think of it as a clever billing system that turns your electric company into your virtual battery. That's right. They're like the friend who borrows your stuff but actually remembers to return it. Here's how it works. When your solar panels are producing more energy than your home needs, like in the middle of the day, while you're out conquering the world, the extra electricity flows back to the grid. The electric company doesn't actually store it in a jar labeled Bob Solar Energy. Nope. They sell it off to somebody else, probably at a nice profit too. But don't worry, they're keeping tabs. Whenever you need electricity, like at night or on cloudy days, during the winter, they give it back to you in the form of credits. It's like having a tab at the electricity bar, but no actual money changes hands. Now I have a full video explaining this. It's linked up there. Check it out if you're curious. If you live in a net metering state, buying a battery might just be a waste of money, unless you're looking for backup power during outages. And you ask me why? Because batteries don't generate electricity. They just store it. Solar panels, on the other hand, are the real MVPs. They generate electricity that slashes your electric bills. Now, in most net metering states, if you install enough solar panels, your monthly electric bill could drop to less than 10 bucks. Yep, 10 bucks. And in this case, you know, there's no need to drop $12,000 more on a battery unless you really love to spend money on shiny gadgets. If you're tired of losing power during storms or blackouts, a battery could be your new best friend. Remember, solar doesn't work during outages because of safety regulations. They shut down to prevent stray electricity from the solar panels zapping utility workers on the power poles. But with a battery, you've got a reliable backup source. No more fumbling for candles or cursing in the darkness. So when does buying a battery make sense? Now, if you live in a state without net metering, hello Hawaii, California, Arizona, Nevada, Utah, and some parts of Texas, a battery is practically a no-brainer. Why? Because the electric company won't give you fair credit for your extra solar energy. Instead, they pay you peanuts while charging you premium rates for the energy you need later. With a battery, you can store your surplus solar energy and use it at night. Avoiding those pricey grid charges. And here's another reason to consider a battery. TOU, time of use billing. 
Some electric companies charge you based on when you use power. Peak rates usually hit between 4 p.m. and 9 p.m. The exact time you're cranking up the TV, cooking dinner, flipping on every night light in the house. A battery lets you sidestep those sky high rates by using stored solar power during peak hours. So the question is to battery or not to battery. So here's the verdict. Don't buy a battery unless you live in a non net metering state. Or you have time of use billing, or you want reliable backup power for outages. Otherwise, let your solar panels and net metering do the heavy lifting for your wallet. If you're thinking about going solar or adding battery to your system, I'd love to help. Email me, call me, whatever works. And hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with anybody who's thinking about going solar anywhere in the US. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.